I'm on a mission to start a 10,000 a month business starting from zero. Now, obviously, if you're a viewer of this channel already, uh, you already know that I have a multi six figure business that's doing pretty well. So uh, I'm not a complete noob when it comes to this. So hopefully this series is more exciting. Today, we're doing week two update of how that whole thing is going. I have everything on my iPad and uh, we're gonna jump right into it. So pretty much uh, a couple of weeks ago, I made week one of the vlog, I guess, updating you guys on the whole challenge. Basically the premise is I start a 10K a month business starting completely from zero. And uh, the vehicle I chose was basically, I wanted to start a new service, uh, a new agency pretty much, um, helping influencers remove fake accounts, right? So a very useful service. I had to do it for myself and I thought there was a real gap in the market. So, you know, I thought I'd attempt to make some money from it. Pretty much what happened was, you know, I went on holiday, well, holiday. It was actually more of a work trip. We ended up working between 12 to 16 hours a day, depending on like the day. Um, basically, I went to Miami with a couple business partners and we ended up doing uh, Bahamas for a week as well. So I was on holiday, I was working on my main businesses and uh, scaling out the content teams, which I'll get to in a second. But pretty much I was a waste man and didn't do all for two weeks on this portion of the business. Basically, what I was really focused on building was my content strategy, but more specifically scaling out my content team. So right now, you know, uh, I'm gonna be way more consistent on YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, literally every single platform, including LinkedIn as well, because I have a team in place that helps me with all of that stuff. And if you wanna find out the exact strategy that I'm actually using to grow my personal brand to well over 100,000 by the end of this year, then highly recommend you join the Discord group, link in the description below. Uh, basically, it's a free community where I give out weekly coaching. We have weekly calls with a community. Pretty much, it's called the Wealth Creation Syndicate. It's something that I created because I really want to help people who are not from kind of like wealthy backgrounds who don't have necessarily the access that I do now to, uh, I guess, like wealthy people or just people who have a little bit of success. I want to create a free community that is completely. Uh, not paid right so that you guys can learn the basics completely for free so that you don't have to pay like uh, I don't know a thousand bucks for a course just to get the basics So I have weekly coaching on there where I give out a lesson every single week that is not uploaded onto my YouTube channel Completely free started it three weeks ago already dropping dropping bangers on there We already have a video explaining my Twitter strategy on how I'm gaining around 10,000 impressions per day on my Twitter now go check that out and uh, yeah, it's totally free free weekly calls. Also, I'm gonna do a coaching program as well that is also gonna be free. So yeah, a bunch of free shit, check it out. Really useful community. Now, how do I actually scale this business to 10,000 a month? Well, here's how I've actually done it in the past two months and we've secured some wins. I'm gonna show those in just a second. But basically to scale, I need to increase the volume of outreach I'm doing. But also right now, because the service I'm offering is super low competition in terms of there's just no one reputable in the space that is kind of actively doing something like this, right? It's very easy to get referrals. I've already gotten maybe two or three referrals straight away from existing clients, but also just like word of mouth on uh, because of the marketing for the business I've done through the TikTok series where I'm documenting me building this business life. So I've also gotten a couple referrals, but basically, you know, so far we've collected another $200 in cash, right, from uh, another client. And uh, so far we're on $500 monthly recurring revenue. And uh, we've also done 800 in one-off contracts plus the 200 that we just did, meaning it'll go up to a thousand. Now, uh, 1.5K, sorry, total cash collected. Let's talk about another win we had. Alex Hormozy is actually now a client of ours, right? So pretty much my whole theory was, was I didn't want to charge him because I respect him so much. He's given me so much value. I really respect his brand. And I know this guy's reach, right? So basically my whole hypothesis was, let me go offer the service to... Uh, one of the biggest guys in the business space right now. If I can get him to, if I can do this for him for free, I can use this in my cold outreach saying that, hey, we're currently doing this for Alex and Layla. And um, you know, that I'm guessing that's gonna get a ton of responses. And goddamn, it's worked, right? So pretty much everybody that I DM now um, with this service, and I'm talking like verified accounts with 100, 200,000 followers, I get maybe like 75 or uh, percent response rates, right? So that's a major win as well. I see it as a major win just because, you know, 
how cool is it to work for someone that you really look up to, right? But anyways, if you guys are curious on the process how on how I secured Alex as a client, I basically cold emailed his assistant, right? Um, found her email, cold emailed her. She got back to me. I as well DM'd him personally on Instagram with a quick message explaining the situation and how I can help. And essentially, I was able to follow up with them fairly relentlessly. And over the period of about two weeks, I managed to close them. No calls really required just because this was a completely free service. My onboarding process is, is exceptionally smooth. So pretty much there was very little friction for them to hop up. They became on board and we're getting pretty steady results for them at the moment. Uh, we've managed to take down probably six uh, fake accounts at this point. By the time you're seeing this video is probably well over 10. Uh, probably over 15 actually, most likely. That's kind of the situation, how I got him as a client. Very, very cool experience. Now, how do I actually plan to scale this? So basically my whole sales process right now is gonna be cold email, which I'm gonna show you guys how to set up. Probably I'll do it live on Discord. So, you know, check out that and also upload the recording on there in the resources section. But basically show you guys how to set up Lemlist as a um, cold email tool, or maybe I'll use Go High Level. I'm not entirely sure yet. It just depends on what I'm feeling. And also Instagram DM. So this is something that I can't really automate as of yet but in the future I will be automating. So, so far I've scraped a pretty decently sized list. I haven't scraped this personally. I paid a VA to do it because it's really not worth my time, but pretty much how that works is I have a list of about 150 people who are in need of this service specifically, and I'm going to be cold emailing uh, to set appointments, quick 15 minute sales calls, very scripted, uh, because this is not a very nuanced kind of service. So quick 15 minute discovery call process. We're going to close them on the call 15, 30 minutes max if there's a ton of objections and uh, they're going to pay the invoice. I'm going to get them onboarded same day, right? So the other method of uh, lead generation is going to be Instagram DM. So I'm going to be sending DMs to people probably automated through something like ManyChat or I don't know, I'll find some sort of botting service, right? And what's going to happen is I'm going to DM them on Instagram, same thing, set an appointment and then close them on the 15 to 20 minute discovery call. So how does this work, right? Well, first of all, I don't have time to generate the leads myself. So we're going to hire a lead sources straight away over the next couple of weeks, as well as a appointment setter. So I'll probably use one of my current ones, but I'll probably walk you guys through roughly the process of how I would go about hiring an appointment setter if I didn't have one, because you know, I've already had that experience. So sales is actually uh, probably going to get outsourced as well. So I'll probably end up hiring a sales rep. Um, most likely, yes, it'll probably be from the Discord community just because I found that hiring from my communities has been the easiest uh, in the past. Now, how can I actually make this challenge better, right? Because it's been two weeks pretty much into the challenge that I've actually worked a little bit on it, right? And we've already done 1.5K cash collected with a very, like a disgustingly high margin, right? I have a few ideas for this challenge. I'm thinking once maybe we would get to the three to 5K mark in terms of uh, three to 5K cash collected or three to 5K in uh, net profits, right? What we could do for this challenge is to pivot into a new model, uh, such as like drop shipping or maybe even like door to door selling. So door to door selling is like the area that I got started in, right? When I was uh, what, 18, 19, I did like a door to door internship. I uh, didn't end up going too well, but I learned a ton of stuff from it. And that is something that I would be quite interested in having a crack at again or drop shipping. Reason being why I want to pivot to a new business model is I feel like starting a new agency is almost cheating right? Because I don't really have the uncertainty that most beginners would face or any of the limiting beliefs just because I've been in the agency space for like two and a half years now. And I feel like I've overcome most of the challenges already. So I know how to handle that shit very well. And I've also scaled my agency to the point where it's doing like uh, a few hundred thousand per year in revenue with like really healthy net margins. So starting a new SMMA isn't really a challenge for me anymore. So if you guys want me to have a crack at a brand new uh, business model that I've never attempted, like drop shipping or something, um, you know, drop me a message and I'll be more than happy to have a crack at it. Actually leave it as a comment because then we can vote on it together. So my main goal of this challenge is literally to make people think, not make people think, but like show people number one, that anything is possible, right? But also I really want to empower people to feel that they can, they themselves can do it as well, right? Because I truly believe that anyone who wants it bad enough and is willing to put in the hard work and sweat is able to get there, 
right? Especially once you acquire the skill, this is something that's gonna be sticking with you forever. For example, I remember when I first started my agency, it took me like 24 days to uh, get to my first cash collected, like payment taken. But then my second client after that actually took like 82 days, I believe. So all in all, for, for me to secure two clients, it took around 110, 15 days kind of thing. And now because I'm more seasoned in the space, because I have the skills and the knowledge and I lack the uh, knowledge deficit that I was in the, in the past, right? I'm able to scale much quicker. And with my new service, for example, I was able to take payment in 48 hours, right? So I wanna show you that it's possible, anyone can do it. And uh, if you believe in yourself and put in the sh in hard work, you can too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed week two update. Uh, more coming very soon. And I'll be posting these weekly vlogs. I'll probably try to, you know, get clips of me actually working and stuff as well and sprinkle it in there as well. So hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Follow me on TikTok if you want to see the daily vlogs.